Welcome back to West Explains Best. We're doing another Khan Academy tutorial today for geometry. This is volume and surface area of cylinders. Uh, so we're going to be doing everything related to cylinders with this one. So let's go ahead and start with this first question, which is, what is the volume of a cylinder with base, radius 2, and height of 9? One thing we'll need to understand about uh, the formula for volume is we need to understand that it is the area of the base, hold on, sorry, I don't want to give that away, it is the area of the base times the height. And that's true for any prism. So a cylinder is basically a special type of prism that is circular. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and shade my base here. And then my height is going to be 9. Okay. Now essentially what we're doing is you're taking the area of the circle and then you're pulling it all the way down this height and that forms volume. So you're taking it into a third dimension, which is why uh, units for volume are units cubed. Okay, so let's get back to the task at hand. Well, we need to understand what the area of the base is. So the area of the base is going to be equal to pi r squared because it's a circle. Now we're just going to input our value. So we have pi times 2 squared. We do order of operations to do 2 squared, which is 4, and then multiply that by pi. I think it says enter exact answer in terms of pi, so that's what we're going to do. So for our first one, we got the area of the base is 4 pi. Now we're just plugging our height, which is 9, so we get 36 pi. And that's our answer. 36 pi. Okay, next question. What is the surface area of a cylinder with base radius 2 and height of 5? S surface area, as it suggests, is in... Uh, we're talking about area, so we're talking about two-dimensional space. That's all the surface. So if we were to paint this object and not fill it, volume is like how much can be filled. Surface area is everything on the outside that can be painted. So we're asking, uh, what is the outside measure of all this? And on the top and on the bottom. So lateral area is everything that's on the side. Surface area includes the sides, the lateral area, plus the two bases, because prisms and cylinders have two bases. So we can derive a formula for surface area as the lateral area, everything that's in the side in purple, plus the two bases, the area of the two bases. And this big B means area of a base. Let's go ahead and start with what we know. We know the area of a base is equal to pi r squared. We know the radius is 2, so we can plug that in. And guess what? We have the exact same uh, area of the base. So we're going to plug in 4 pi, but don't forget that we have to multiply that by 2 because we need two bases. Okay, now we have our lateral area. Lateral area, how do we think about this? Well, if we were to unravel, kind of like a soup can, unravel the sides of this cylinder, it would form uh, a rectangle where this distance is 5. Now, what would this distance be equal to? That's the question at hand. Well, that distance right there is, if we rolled it up, it would form the perimeter of the circle or the circumference. So what we need to do is we need to find the circumference of the circle and then multiply it using the rectangle formula by the uh, height, which is 5. So our circumference is going to be 2 pi r, and then we're going to multiply that by the height. That's our formula for lateral area of a prism, 2 pi r times the height. Well, we know 2 pi times 2 raises 2, and then our height is 5. So we get 4 times 20, or 4 times 5 is 20, 20 pi. So now we know our lateral area is 20 pi. And we can calculate the surface area by adding these two together. So surface area, sorry about that, equals 20 pi plus 2 times 4 pi, because there's two bases, 8 pi, so we get 28 pi square units. Notice how the units are squared and not cubed. Cubed is for when we have volume, 28 pi, check. Okay, next question. We'll do maybe one, one or two more just so you get the hang of it. What is the volume of a cylinder? Okay, we're talking about volume, how much we can fill. So our, we already know our formula is equal to pi r squared h. So r is 3. We're going to square that first, and then we'll multiply that by pi, and then we're going to multiply that by 8. So that becomes 3 squared is 9. 9 pi times 8, we get 72 pi, and that's our final answer. Usually uh, 
volume is a little bit easier. So this is like how much, how many units of water we could fill this particular cylinder with. So we put 72 pi cubic units. Check the answer. Let's do one more surface area. Surface area we know is, whoops, that was a badass. Surface area is our lateral area, which is two pi r, that's the circumference, times the height of the cylinder, or the, the perimeter times the height. That's what the any prism is gonna be. And then we need to add, that was a bad, bad plus sign, two of the bases. Let's start with our bases. Our base is gonna be uh, pi r squared. Uh, yep, that's gonna be our base when we multiply that by two. So we have pi times three squared. That's gonna be nine pi. Let me multiply that by two. So we have nine pi times two. And then we have two pi times three times our height, which is six. And we're gonna add those two together. So that gives us 18, 36 pi plus 18 pi. That's 44, 54 pi is gonna be our surface area in square units. 54 pi square units. Hope you guys found this helpful and you have a better understanding of cylinders with both volume and surface area. And I'll see you next time on West Explains Best. Take care.